Good afternoon. This is the World Wrestling Hour with Liam and Jasmine. We are going to go through the post draft era of the WWE. We're also going to talk about, has WWE finally given up on Roman Reigns' push? That's going to be fascinating. Also, the newest championship in the World Wrestling Entertainment, the Universal title, will take you through our opinions on that. Right now, you're listening to Clap Your Hands by Sia. This is Sin, 90.7, Swingburn on Air. That was Sia on 90.7, Swingburn on Air. So, Jasmine, what did you think of the post-Raw draft? Post-Raw draft. You mean, like, the Raw after the draft, yeah? Yes. Okay, so, personally, I thought it was probably the best Raw that they've had in a long time. I thought, yeah, I thought that was really fantastic. Definitely, because... Um, they basically just, they started off within the first 15 minutes. They'd already had a new logo, a new song, a new uh, ring because their ropes are red now instead of white. Like, everything is different, and I think it's good because they needed a change. I also think in show quality, I like the fact that they brought back the jobbers for um, Nia Jax and yes. um, Braun Strowman. And if, you, if you've been on social media, the jobber for Braun Strowman has now become famous. <laughs> All the photos I out there. I haven't seen that actually. Oh, but it is funny. That would be awesome because I I, I was also um, a fan of the good old jobber because you know they I feel like they need to push the people that are in the wrestling business like their company mm. they're signed to the roster for a reason they can't just use them. But everyone like there's been so many jobbers like Daniel Bryan started off as a jobber. Um, Dean Ambrose was a jobber. Um, Jeff and Matt Hardy. Yeah, jobbers. I remember that. That outfit, though. Oh. <laughs> the, the 90s was such a sad time in life. It's like a period we'll try to forget, especially when it comes to fashion. They Flew were, over everything. They were jesters, right? They dressed up as jesters for <laughs> the Royal Rumble. <laughs> um, but like, as a show quality, I thought it was good. Like, the, um, even at the start, the two fatal four ways, the um, Stephanie Mann was only at the start. It wasn't shoved down our throats. Like, it's been the last few years, you know, all authority. This it was at the start. Boom, these are the two matches. Both happened, both good. The yes, the two winners were predictable. Like you knew Finn Balor and Roman Reigns would win their respective matches, but I also thought it was a good. Everyone in that match deserved to be in that match. Yeah, like it wasn't, um, just like the lowest of low in the company, just thrown into a match to make the good like the big guy look good. So. And for more shock value, good thing about WWE, um, the new women's champion in probably one of the matches of the oh. year. The best match I've seen in a while on Raw for the women. I, I think, think I think Charlotte, because she's a heel, bad guy, villain, whatever you want to call her, she get her talent is very unrecognized by a lot of people. I agree. Like she, it was a phenomenal match by two phenomenal female athletes. Um, the new and as soon as she lost the title, there's other rumors saying that she might want time off. You could see the genuine yeah. emotion on their faces too yeah. after their match because what a match and Sasha with the Eddie moment. I was so happy for her because, you know, we obviously, if you... But one thing I don't get, it was that she threw the title and um, faked an injury, right? But she threw the title because she wanted Dana to catch it. She didn't really fake oh, an so injury. I, I missed that part of the match and I thought it was Charlotte. So I thought um, it was... I think to myself, why would she try to get disqualified? But, oh, no. Yeah. Sasha um, w- did a little thing from her yeah. good old mentor slash idol, Eddie, Eddie Guerrero. Guerrero. Um, we'll wrap this up. We'll first, we'll go with the main event. What did you think of um, Finn Balor, or Finn Balor, Finn Balor, my fellow Irishman, versus <laughs> Roman Reigns? I actually really enjoyed that match. I think Roman brought a lot out of what he, we haven't actually seen in a while. Roman Reigns is a phenomenal talent, and I would argue anyone to the death who <laughs> disagrees with me there. I agree. I Honestly, I don't see why the hate is so bad towards him. Oh, it's one of those things where... Once a group starts hating, a lot of other people start hating, and then everyone else will start hating. It'll be a pure hate fest. I like the on Raw they had even they had um, Roman chants going because they wanted to make the fans more than the haters known. To be honest, yeah, it's I feel bad. The guy works his bum off. Yes, to become where he is in the company, and it's one of those things where he's a bit unfair by the management the way they treat him, especially when he was saying tater tots. Oh my gosh, stuff like that were very. But I think, yeah, the new era, new Raw, um, good start, good start for me. You always want to start off on a high. And speaking of that, we're going to talk about the low after this. You're listening to 90.7, Swingbird on Air.
That was Guy Sebastian with Who's That Girl on 90.7 Springburn On Air. It is currently 1.14pm. So, after we spoke about the good of that was Monday Night Raw last week, the not so good happened the next day later with the first ever live, or second live edition of Smackdown Live. <laughs> For one, I hate the fact they're going to keep continue using Smackdown Live. But that's what they do. What did you think of Smackdown Live? <laughs> Smackdown Live. I actually really liked um, the Smackdown Live first edition. I think that, uh, well, technically it's the second, but first one that they've first actually... First post-draft. Yeah. Um, the new, 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 The new, new era. era. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I, similar to Raw, they do have like all this new logos and the whole new The teeth of the fist. <laughs> the rings. If anyone here is a wrestling fan, everyone knows the good old fist back in the good old days of SmackDown was out on the stage and everyone loved it. They still um, have them, you know. They still have in them? In storage back in, uh, uh, I think it's in Stanford. Well, uh, the logo shows the fist at the end and that's all they got as fans. <laughs> they, apparently they weighed like a heap of tons. I can't remember the exact amount, but they were really heavy. And transporting them was difficult. That's why they let them go. So what did you think of the show as a whole show compared to um, the night before Monday Night Raw? Um, as a whole, I thought it was good because uh, SmackDown had, like for the past couple of years, it's been struggling as a secondary oh, they've, show. They kind of forgot about it, haven't they? Yeah, they basically just tried to run with Raw and made SmackDown just this really tiny show that didn't really matter that much. And I feel like bringing it to live especially is definitely a good thing and uh also just making it this whole new thing with like new logos new rosters and all that stuff i feel like it's just gonna go f- way further um well we were talking about this before actually well, earlier today um they did a number one contenders for the wwe world championship and um the winner was um Dolph Ziggler, who's been irrelevant f- from wrestling for at least the last two years I said to you that I think it's a a transitional thing for a bigger storyline later on. What do you think of that? I think you could be right, but also I feel like they know that fans kind of want to see Ziggler reappear on the big time at least for a moment before he retires because I feel like he will retire within the next five years at mm. least. Well, thinking of the thing that happened on Sam Raw with Finn Balor becoming number one contender, and we'll kind of talk about that um, next segment, we'll talk about a, a, a person <laughs> who might be falling out of favour. But I honestly thought it would have been a um, a young, maybe Baron Corbin. I thought he had a chance of winning, in my opinion. Yeah, he definitely had a chance. But um, I feel like after the Andre the Giant Battle Royal, he's kind of won his big match. He's, he's like his, he's like his hair <laughs> casually fading. Oh wow! <laughs> You've seen that hairline? It's. <laughs> <laughs> that belly button, though. Have you seen notice his belly button? No, I, I honestly, I, I don't really notice males' belly buttons before. It's not really my thing. Yeah, I don't usually look at it myself, but come on. That one is very different to all the others. Um, I, one thing I noticed and one thing I didn't like, uh, they, they had a battle royal. They had, I think, the whole male roster in this battle royal. And you really see how depleted this list is, you know. And I thought there was only two superstars that could have won. And one of the ones I thought could have won one. So yeah, I don't know. Like I feel like they're trying to give all the other people more opportunity, and that's kind of what they've been saying for a while on SmackDown. And the whole women's thing they did as well during the show kind of felt pointless. If there's going to be no title, you know, they're all out there saying they're going to make an impact, and yeah, they need another women's championship, just like what they're doing on Raw with the new title. I hope so too. Um, after we'll go to a few songs, and after that we're going to talk about Roman Reigns and is his push as even a guy in WWE over. You're listening to 90.7 Swing Burn on Air. That was Jessica Mowat with Burn. You are listening to the World Wrestling Hour with Liam and Jasmine on 90.7 Swing Burn on Air. So, as we all know, as we all know, well, most people will know that Who Roman yeah. yes, that Roman Reigns got suspended for 30 days for. The wildness policy, yeah. his first offence. Um, and as you can see, he's lost now three times. His last two matches, he's lost clean in a row. 
and it's been rumoured for a while that they're no longer as high on him as the WWE top guy. What do you think about that? I feel like maybe they're actually starting to listen to the fans. The the people that are... Smarks. Well, yes, the haters, basically. The ones that boo him 24-7. He comes out and it's just astounding boos. Like, but I love it now. I love it when he comes out. And you saw this when he wrestled the battleground. He came out and the boos... And he just soaked it all in. He looks up with that cocky look and he's like, I know you guys hate me, but I'm a phenomenal good looking guy, so I don't care. <laughs> he's also like extremely talented and that's the one thing mm. that I don't get because I know that people don't understand the whole push thing back when he was champion and stuff like that. And I get that people weren't necessarily happy with that, but booing him like they did was a bit unnecessary. Oh, I think it was just a trend that everyone caught on to. Roman Reigns isn't good. Yeah. Um, but I think, you know, we look back at the certain old world titles and, you know, the spinner butt looked good on Cena. Um, yeah. the, the one before that looked good on Brock Lesnar. Um, I think the current WWE t- title looks really good on Roman Reigns. That's his title. I reckon that maybe it was just his toughness that made the belt just look so good. Um, I think he's overdue for a, to turn heel or turn to a bad guy. That's overdue, definitely. But Everyone on Twitter is saying the exact same thing. Because he has that cocky persona. And he can play it off really well, that he's better than everyone. Because everyone's hating him at the moment, besides his like, actual fans, such as myself. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, I'm a huge Roman Reigns fan. Again, I, like I said, I'll fight to the death. I'll see you after Roman Reigns. Um, um, makes you think. Um, you didn't want it, and I the only thing I'm spoiling to you from today's world is that he attacked Rusev for the United States champion. So I'm guessing they're going to put him into a feud with that him. Yeah. And if he loses clean against a lower champion, that means he's pushed for now. It's over. Yeah, it's further. At least, it's like if you're lower than the US champion, then you're not really very high at all yeah. on the roster. If he loses by shenanigans, I love the word shenanigans. So if he loses <laughs> by shenanigans. Understandable, but if he gets, um, yeah, he gets pinned, pinned clean. Submitted. If he submits to the accolade, I'll probably cry. Um, but like he's a very he's a hard worker. He you know as all professional wrestlers in WWE are, they're all very underrated by how hard they work. Yeah. Um, but actually, if you I watched this on YouTube, um, Instagram, and it was um after SmackDown last week, they did a um dark show, dark match. Oh. So the ones that are not televised, and Reigns got cheered. Yes. So I think either it's a person in disguise they're going to bring him down again, maybe make him win the US Championship in his new red gear, which looks absolutely terrible. <laughs> um, but yeah, make him win the US Championship, maybe give him a run with that, because I'm not a big fan of um, wrestlers getting pushed to the major belt. And maybe Rusev will go on a honeymoon now. He just got married. <laughs> so yes. He that, can that's go on probably, his honeymoon. Yeah. yeah. He did just get married twice. Yeah, they had two weddings. One for realsies and one for TV. <laughs> God, I don't want to get married twice in two days. That's a lot of marriage. <laughs> Too much marriage. Um, but do you think do you think they're over Roman Reigns, or do you think it's going to be a temporary thing and he once he'll be world champion once again? They're definitely just uh, putting him on the down low for the moment. I feel like he'll definitely get another shot, probably at the new championship after a little while, depending who's champion. Um, well, I think him and Seth Rollins, or him and the, the, the Shield 3, they just have the chemistry that you can't fake. Literally, the my favourite match, like recently, just now of basically all time, the first match with uh, Dean and Rollins on Raw for the championship the other week. Oh my gosh, my favourite match. It was so good. It's just, you know, people have chemistry, and that's in life in general, people that have that chemistry that works well together. And in wrestling, it's more important than anything. You can't force chemistry. You can't. So with Roman Reigns, um, they'll probably give him back and make him win against Seth Rollins in the future. But for now, he is um, in trouble. As you can tell, he's pretty much getting the hard end of the stick with whatever he does. He's, um, but he'll pay his dues because, by the looks of he's one of those hard-working guys. He's definitely one of those people that will admit to his mistakes and he'll learn from them. Um, and speaking of the title, after this, we're actually going to go through the new world championship on Raw. You're listening to 90.7, the World Wrestling Hour. That was Shut Up and Kiss Me by Reese Maston. And believe it or not, saying to someone Shut Up and Kiss Me doesn't usually end well. You usually end up getting a slap across the face. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've personally never tried it. but 
I'll, yeah. I'll agree. I'll agree with you. Anyway. <laughs> um, well, talking back to wrestling, and as we everyone knows who's been listening to the show, and thank you for listening. Um, <laughs> so this uh, Monday Night Raw has brought in a new championship, the WWE Universal Championship. It is named after the fans, which they call the WWE Universe. I like it. I personally, at first, I heard it and I thought, because I, I, don't, I didn't hear it from them exactly, I, I was only at uni and I was like, oh yeah, you know, the WWE Universe Championship, and I thought it's Universe instead of Universal. So mm. at first I was really mad. I was like, why would they do that? But now I've actually heard what it's actually called, and I've thought about it, and I like it. Well, let's start off. It's better than the big gold belt. That's you know new. We're talking about the whole new era. You don't want to bring back something old. Yes. As much as it's universally loved by, I think everyone. I think even I love the good old gold belt. It was called. But I honestly think that a new championship for a new generation. You know, every everything moves forward. Um, early today I was on a show with Jeff. And we'll talk about AFL, and we'll talk about how their future is moving forward now with wrestling. Um, and it is. The people we have from 10 years ago now are Auden and Cena. And apart from that, we're in this new generation where I think the likes of Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, Bray Wyatt, Kevin Owens are going to carry this company for the next 10 or so years. So a new championship, the Universal title, if it lasts 5 to 10 years... Hopefully it lasts. I hope it lasts for good old twenty years. Yeah. I hope they don't get um quit on this um brand split anytime soon. Hopefully not. Mm. I know that um the whole universal championship could definitely go for like the old world heavyweight championship. Yeah, um, there's been some concept art online, and I think we've both seen yes, one. Yes, it actually and looks so good. Cool. Yeah, what did you think of this concept that may or may not be this title? Because we actually on TV, you haven't seen what it looks like yet. It's all. Up to our imagination, yeah. <laughs> I don't think they'll show it until SummerSlam, which is kind of disappointing because I really want to see it, but I understand why they're doing it. But what do you think of this concept art or the idea we've seen on um, well, Instagram? Well, if, if this is the actual championship that we've seen, and possibly it could be, but who knows? what? I don't even know where it came from. It was just online. But if that's the championship, I hope it is because I love it. Oh, it's so good. Um, it's pretty much, if, if anyone who hasn't seen it, it's... The old, like back the in the WWF early 90s. WWF Championship. Yes, this is talking about Hulk Hogan and um, Sla- Sergeant Slaughter, Ultimate Warrior days here. Um, that title with a new current feel to it. So it has the new look with the old, and it just looks good. It looks really good. I hope they go with that. Mm. If they have gone with that, good for them. If they haven't, they've got change to change pe- it. People love it. So. <laughs> <laughs> change it. <laughs> but that's the thing, you know. You look at the new titles, and like I said, I'm a big fan. I wasn't a fan of the one the Brock introduced that WWE title. Oh yeah. But the new one, I am. It just it suits today's era. It, you know, I like the new women's championship also. Which it looks like the current males one, much better than the old Divas title. Than, uh, much better. You know, I was so good with the butterflies. It was so bad. Oh, it looks like a tramp stamp. <laughs> um, but. And the the current ta- the new tag team well they're not new anymore but the tag team titles looks like pennies, pennies. You know, not like something you want to win with your best mate. You know. I know what you mean. Yeah, I feel like they definitely need to be gold at least, not bronze. Oh, yeah, you need a gold belt. You need you silver know, at least. Point. Come on. <laughs> you know, you want to win the gold. Like I love what they did with the Intercontinental Championship, bring it back to classic. The white belt. Yeah, yeah. I love that. I love that. That was good. Um, apparently when Cena was champion last year, there was rumours that they were going to bring back a new United States championship. They Ooh. didn't do that, but there was rumours that they will. Um, but I like that one's good. It has the American flags, the yeah. United States champion. Do you remember when it was round? That was, that, that was very, very British of you. Do you remember <laughs> when it was round? <laughs> I, my dad's British. So. Oh, I thought you wanted to pull out a cup of tea and a scone. I like cup of teas <laughs> and scones, so if you want to get me one, go for it. <laughs> Two sugars? One. One. Okay. I'm sweet enough. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, so what were you saying before? The round? The round title for the US championship. The they had, yeah, when Cena was yeah. But that was good. That was back in the day when he was the rapper. But back to the um, Universal title. The only thing I picture, I picture, you know, when they lose a the title and they talk about how they want to win their title back. Mm. And I've been playing that in my head. I've been playing the, I want to win back my WWE Universal championship. And it still doesn't sound right to me. Yeah, because you're used to the whole World Heavyweight Championship yeah. thing. Yeah, I think that's kind of where they're going with that also because for so long we've known the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, but that's on SmackDown now. It's funny. Did you actually watch SmackDown? 
I did. So originally it was WWE Championship, and then someone spoke, and it was WWE World Heavyweight Championship, and now it's the WWE World Championship. It changed three times in a matter of five minutes. I think it's just nicknames. Yeah, it's the WWE Championship. Mm. It's WWE World Heavyweight Championship, but it gets shortened like millions of times. It's that title that everyone wants to win. Um, and now you've got the Universal Championship. Talking about new titles, as we said before, SmackDown needs a women's championship, definitely. Yes. Do they need a tag team championship? You know, I've actually been saying this for a few years now. I, I've been complaining on Twitter, been sending my rants into WWE. Obviously, they haven't seen it, or if they have, they've just been ignoring me, so thanks a lot. But um, the tag titles for the women, I feel like... Uh, doesn't TNA have... They used to, but then... They, yeah, then they got guy and girl it. won them, and they had it for like 5,000 days, and then they got rid of it. Yeah, see, they had it, at uh, least. But I, I, I was more talking about another male... Another male. Yeah. Male part here. A male championship. Um, tag team championship on SmackDown. Yeah. Do you think they need that? Or do you think um, they, they should make the WWE tag team championship or mm. the WWE e- World Tag Team, team Championship? championship. Yeah. yeah. Do you think that should be both brands or <laughs> just SmackDown? Ooh, see, that's a tough one. Because I feel like they, all, that, they used to have two. Mm. So perhaps that could be a good thing. I think they should do both. Oh, no, I think they should be two, but yeah. they need to stick with... They've got to really make sure SmackDown, SmackDown. They need... Um, I can't remember if someone said it. The only comp- competition WWE really has is itself. Yeah. So they really want to make SmackDown a brand. The fact that it currently only has two titles. Yeah, that's the challenge. They need their own tag team. They need their own women's division. They need to be like this powerful force. And for a time, especially when the first brands would happen back in the early 2000s, it was... I feel like SmackDown has the stronger tag division right now. And um, even for years, I used to always watch SmackDown. But that's because I never had a chance to watch on Wednesdays, which uh-huh. it was back in the old days. <laughs> Raw used to be on Wednesdays, and we got to see SmackDown before America did. Because we actually got to see it on Friday. Uh, where America got it on Saturday for us. Yeah. See, I, I didn't really have that much of a uh. paid TV at that time. So. Um, but yeah, so... And after this, actually, we'll, we'll finish off here. And after this, we want to talk about an interesting thing that me and Jasmine both have thought about wrestling. And it's funny that we both thought about it. You're listening to 80, sorry, 90.7 Swingburn on Air. You are listening to Swingburn on Air on 90.7. This is the World Wrestling Hour with Liam and Jasmine. And just before we go, uh, something we spoke about before we got on air, like pretty much the, a minute before we went on air. <laughs> um... In wrestling, because it, it is a lot like acting, and they have stage names. But part Most of, me of is, them do. Some, John Cena uses yeah, John his Cena. real name. Yeah. John Flexi, Anthony, Bob, Jack, Dylan, Cena. Um, but do... It's weird, because if you're... So we'll, we'll use um, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, for example, here. Chris Evans plays Captain America, Steve Rogers. Mm-hmm. Apart from that, he's um, Chris Evans. Yeah. But if you're someone like um, Dan Ambrose, who goes by the name Jonathan Good. He's Dean Ambrose 24-7. Because everyone knows him from you know, his persona. When when he does wrestling shows, he's Jonathan um, Dean Ambrose. When he does meeting greets, he's Dean Ambrose. And I always wonder, do the wrestlers ever stuff up? Ever, you know, do they ever just say, he, so he's good friends with Roman Reigns in real life. Does um, he ever go, oh, hey, Dean, or hey, Jonathan? So that's the one thing I've always wondered. Uh, like, if we were to meet them, do we call them by their real names? Or do we call them by their wrestling name? Um, I think we would call them by their real name because they're always in character. It's very, you know, it's very rare. We'll talk about Undertaker. When when do you ever see Mark Calloway? Mm, like, never. He is the Undertaker. And he'll always be the Undertaker. Yeah. Or, like, Triple H. His name's Paul. He doesn't look like a Paul. But he, doesn't Paul. Look, he doesn't look like a Paul. No. He, you know you know how people look like a name? He does look like a Hunter. He Hunter Hearn Townsley. Uh, Paul Levesque. Yeah, it's the weird, weird Paul. It's not like a Paul. But that's something I've always wondered, especially when it comes to wrestling. Do they, how, what are they known as? In real life. Like, mm. I know that uh, obviously their family and friends would call them by their real names and stuff, but. I think you look at people like Batista, whose last name is Bruti- ba- Brutista. I'm it's not very, even sure how you pronounce um, it. And especially towards the end of his time in WWE, they started calling him Dave, just because his first name's Dave. Yeah, that's So they're like, oh, hey, Dave. Hey, Dave, 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 Dave. And they call him Dave Batista now. Mm. Or Blue Tista, if you're on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> um, funny time, that was. It was. Felt bad for him, though. That was, that was a very unfair thing for him. But, um, yeah, it just makes me wonder, because like, people like The Miz, whose first name's The, <laughs> um, 
Yeah. Everyone knows, pretty much knows his first name's Mike. Or yeah, they might call him Miz. Yeah, Miz. Yeah, because his last name's Mizian. Yeah, Mike Mizan. Mizian. Mizian. I'm not sure how you pronounce it exactly. But um, so people like that, you understand that they probably won't call him the. <laughs> but people like Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, even though his first name is Kevin, so you're doing okay there. And so at least I'm glad I'm not the only one who's ever wondered that. Yeah, I was actually discussing it on Twitter once. This was a while back now. And I made a tweet like, oh, if I was to meet Seth Rollins, what do I call him? Do I call him Seth or do I call him Kobe? Because Kobe is his real name, but Seth is his name that everyone knows him as. Yeah, Kobe Lopez. It's a really cool name. It's funny because you watch, um, I watch, I don't know if you watched on the network, his special about coming back. Oh, and I kept on trying to that. hear someone say, and like someone did say Kobe. I did hear that. So I was happy about that. I was trying to, you know, because I just spoke to his family. Was, do they call him Steph or? I was thinking It's really too. hard to say in kayfabe. K- yeah, the k- kayfabe. That brings back memories. Such a wrestling terminology. John Cena, did you see that um, there's a thing on YouTube and the title of the video says something along the lines of, this will make you hate John Cena forever. And it's just the most ridiculous thing. Is video. that when he, um, he attacked Michael Cole? Yeah. Yeah. They went, they, they're like, oh. And he like calls out the doctor at ringside for like being kayfabe or, mm. or being not kayfabe. And then he asks for his doctor opinion. Apparently the doctor isn't actually a doctor. No, they would have to have some medical training. I know, but the doctor that they always use on TV oh. isn't a doctor. Oh. I did not know that. Um. Well, there, that's our hour up for the World Wrestling Hour. You have listened to Sin 90.7, and this is Liam and Jasmine. Have a good afternoon. Bye, guys. Well, have a nice day. (laughs) As Mick Foley would say.